Hey, what's up guys? It is SMG501 just coming in with this video. Well, you guys are in for a big surprise. I am actually recording. Well, I recorded this gameplay. Um, I have to admit, uh, it took me a while to do uh, this actual gameplay because I'm trying to make it perfect for you guys, like to have the best finish and stuff like that. And uh, I, was, I, I, was, I warmed up, I was playing and I warmed up and I, I became like too good kind of thing like I, I wouldn't allow anything to happen to me uh, but yeah today I want to talk about Monday Night Raw I actually watched Monday Night Raw today even though it's not Monday it's Wednesday and I watched Monday Night Raw and I saw what happened uh, one thing I want to talk about is actually the shield the shield is like a ripoff of the uh, Nexus uh, if you guys don't remember the Nexus they're the ones who took over and was the leader of the Nexus was Wade Barrett uh, and a few other people in the uh, WWE um were a part of the nexus and the the ne the shield is three guys from nxt who are totally like really shit i i don't really like any of those people from uh shield um they're trying to their name is kind of like a marvel name they're trying to copy the marvel name and basically they're not trying to help anyone apart from cm punk uh, a, a lot of people are, are saying that cm punk has something to do with um shield i think he doesn't uh he said that he doesn't and and they said that he doesn't have anything to do with them and that's the same with that stupid referee guy uh and yeah on thursday night i mean on monday night um ryback and cm punk were due to the fight uh cm punk uh won uh because shield again broke into the match and took out ryback and even though we, everyone knew that CM Punk wasn't even injured, he was probably recovered like two weeks ago. Uh, he he obviously had the help of the Shield in order to win the TLC match. The TLC match was basically he had to climb the ladder in order to win. Uh, Ryback was climbing the ladder uh, at a point. Ryback was climbing the ladder, um, and then the lights went out, uh, and then um, the whole of the Nexus, oh well, not the Nexus, the whole of the Shield came out to attack. Um, attack uh, him attacked Ryback and Ryback fought, fought them off but then they put him through a table uh, I think they put him th no he they put they put him through a table that was like on top of the steel step so he kind of had a bad impact uh, so then CM Punk traveled up and got the uh, title and then after that the, the promo between CM Punk and The Rock happened and The Rock ended up laying the smacker down on his candy ass uh, the rock um, hit him with a um, with a uh, rock bottom. Uh, this actual match was was totally epic. The, the the match previous to this, the one that I played with uh, these two, was even more amazing. But it would probably never happen. This is kind of closer to what might happen at Royal Rumble. Uh, the thing is, I from my own opinion, I I I don't like CM Punk as a WWE champion anymore. He's kind of he's kind of made like this the whole wwe championship stale the the world heavyweight champion has kind of like uh took over where the wwe championship was uh, again i don't like big show as the world heavyweight champion obviously because he's the bad guy and all that stuff but still i, I wouldn't mind like cm punk was a good champion up till when um not when he fought right 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 back i think a bit before that uh whenever he was fighting whoever else um there was uh I can't remember but that's when he should have like I can understand okay having it for a year and then someone could have at least taken it from him but I can now understand why they kept him and didn't let Ryback win the WWE title was because they wanted the uh, the Rock to fight against CM Punk and and it's going to be a good match at Royal Rumble um, and you can see me uh, taunting there I'm trying to taunt because I want to try and get um, a finishing maneuver which obviously takes a while uh in this because i set the uh, i set the the momentum to epic which is basically an epic match and that's why the video is so long but it's really good the game is really awesome i have to have uh, a lot of like a lot of time uh, a lot of time when i'm playing it i actually just got it back today but i'm still like badass in this game uh and yeah uh like i, I would compare wwe to tna but like with this whole nexus i mean why the hell do I keep getting mixed up with Nexus and Shield? The Shield and um, like the 
aces and eights. The aces and eights are like a group that is like 10 times better than the shield. The shield is a two skinny ass, well they're not really skinny but they're like douchey and they're like, they can't really fight. Two guys who can't fight and then one guy who's like muscular and thinks he can fight. Uh, well, fights, fight, thinks he can fight. Uh, and yeah, it, it, that Roman Reigns guy, he's the huge guy, the one that does that power bomb. And the thing I don't get is if they're such a like a powerful group and they're powerful people, why are they using three people to pull off one power bomb? That's something I don't really understand. I don't know why the hell they're gonna lift up one guy. They would, they need three people to lift up one guy. I really don't understand that. And when, and when, um. And also when they did it to Sheamus, they did the same thing, three guys. It's like they can't pick up the opponent or something. They can't pick up these uh, wrestlers or something. That's why they need three people in order to do a powerbomb. The three powerbomb. I think by doing that, you're actually pulling off a weaker powerbomb than you are when you're just slamming them down. So I don't get what the hell is the point of that. Um, I know that um, when like people like on the undertaker when they slam you with a with like a last ride and stuff like that you are definitely going to be messed up because it's from a specific height he's lifting you further and he's slamming you and all the the, the people in the shield do slam you through a table and i don't get how that's going to hurt as much as being slammed on into the ring because uh, being slammed onto a table you're basically hitting the table the the table's uh, taking some of the impact uh, away from the whole like being hit on um, in the ring uh, so uh, literally I don't understand how uh, they think that that's a really powerful move and it's actually stopping people uh, the broad kick is another move it is super powerful uh, I'm not it's, it's not a move that is like rubbish it's a it's a totally epic move but a lot of people obviously use the uh, big boot uh, but the way Sheamus uses it is totally different and totally epic Actually, in the last gameplay that I was doing, and I was gonna post, but then the screen got all messed up. Uh, I, I went I went in for a, a diving attack um, when CM Punk was uh, groggy, and he caught me in the GTS, which was pretty dope. But that will never happen. The rock is too big, and I was able to kick out, obviously, to make it to like to, to me. I'm I, I could probably be a good storyteller in the WWE. I could probably make up some good like storylines for like the whole WWE and and with TNA TNA the only reason why I'm watching TNA and the reason why I've stuck with it is because my favorite wrestlers are in TNA uh, you got Jeff Hardy Sting uh, Mr. Anderson I I've actually met Mr. Anderson a really long time ago he was in uh, Wembley and I went to see him I actually patted him on the back uh, but yeah like there's so many like wrestlers right now I'm actually um, getting interested in watching uh, Bully Ray fight, he's because um, he's like turn. He's not. He's not the bad guy. He is kind of the bad guy, but then he's still like kind of good. So uh, I, I want to watch him fight. He's he's really good. He's really good as a singles competitor. Uh, Devon isn't really that good, uh, but yeah, Bubba Ray Dudley or Bully Ray, totally awesome. Uh, Jeff Hardy's fighting um, uh, James Storm. Uh, who else is there? Eight, uh, Austin Aries. He got. He's getting kind of boring now because he's like, um, he's not really doing his um, proper act properly. He's just saying he's the best. He's kind of like he's got the same act that CM Punk that, that CM Punk has right now. I think a lot of copying is going on in uh, WWE uh, and in TNA, um, like with uh, uh, what's his name. With like yeah, Austin Aries acting a bit like CM Punk, except that Austin Aries doesn't own, uh, doesn't hold the WWE title. Uh, Jeff Hardy just does his. I mean, yeah, Jeff Hardy does his own thing. Um, uh, Mr. Anderson has joined up with the other group, basically like in the Nexus. Who who joined up with in the Nexus? CM Punk did. Uh, who else tried? I can't remember who else tried. Uh, I remember because the, the reason why the Nexus was so much more better is because they targeted so many of the high level competitors like Sheamus, uh, John Cena, uh, CM Punk they uh, attacked later on. Uh, John Cena actually had to quit his job or leave. Either he either he quitted or he uh, worked for the Nexus. And the thing I, I like about, um, the thing I like, like more about TNA is that there's more freedom of speech and, and kind of what um, 
what CM Punk was talking about in his like promo bit when he was talking in WWE this week on Monday Night Raw. I kind of liked what he was talking about. You could understand like okay they've had they have to be like a lot of people have to be silenced when they're in the WWE. Uh, they can't talk about um, like like their their history and what they have done in order to get to where they are right now. Uh, in in TNA they have to do that. They either do it or they don't do it. In TNA they allowed to mention the WWE. Uh, when on Thursday night last week, uh, Mike Tenay uh, actually said that uh, I can't remember the guy's name, uh, but it's one of the one of those shitty guys from the WWE. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he was one of the big guys, uh, and he and he said, "Isn't that the guy from WWE?" And they didn't blur it out or anything like that. Well, I'm not sure if they did. And as you can see here, we're doing them reversal pins, which is bloody annoying. So I was trying to stay away from CM Punk at the time. And there's also a new DLC out for the game, which I have downloaded. I bought the Fan Access pack for like, I paid $16.99 to get 2100 Microsoft points. I have 510 Microsoft points left over, so I can probably buy something. If Trials is cheap, I might get that, because uh, I want to play some new games and stuff. So, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys actually really soon, because I'm, I'm going to be doing a few more videos. And, um, obviously, I got a video coming out tomorrow. Uh, Nexus 7 unboxing and stuff like that. Obviously, it's not going to be a new unboxing because I got a used one, but uh, I got it for like a good price, so it's going to be awesome. I, I really do enjoy playing this game, even though like I'm I'm just playing it like 10 times. I, I must have played this match about five or six times, and I just ripped through CM Punk. He beat me once. I can say that he beat me once. That's because I was careless and I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, and now this is the best bit of the this is the best bit of my recording is the um, getting the two finishing maneuvers uh, hitting him with the people's elbow and then I hate the replays in this game the replays are bloody annoying they just come out of nowhere and they just ruin the game kind of thing they ruin your your moment you're trying to have a good moment and now I'm just setting up for the the rock bottom I wish this is how it went imagine imagine the same thing happens in on on Royal Rumble and on 20 on the 20th of January imagine that that's gonna it will be so epic and we have obviously the new champion crowned uh, so yeah it, it's totally epic I love this game I'm obviously uh, gonna try and get some other games really soon uh, my friends actually got a uh, hitman and he's clocked it so yep I'm gonna get that back I might sell it and get another game or something like that I probably won't get another game, I'll probably just keep the money. But uh, yeah, there you see The Rock holding the WWE Championship in the Royal Rumble Arena. Obviously the Royal Rumble Arena this year will obviously look totally different compared to this. Uh, so any of you guys who are actually interested in the WrestleMania moments, uh, let me know in the comments down below on who you want to see um, in, in a battle at WrestleMania and I'll make videos for it. And yeah, and maybe those moments might actually come true at this year's WrestleMania. So remember to post them comments, uh, let me know, and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys real soon. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, peeps.